This video introduces our research work about TacWGN, a Voronoi graph neural network for post-based tactile serving. The tactile perception is very necessary for robots to understand the surrounding environment they interact with. The tactile serving controls the pose of a tactile sensor in physical contact with an object. We applied a tactile robotic system comprising a desktop robot arm and a tactile sensor, which we called the tactip, for a 2D surface serving task. Firstly, we transform the arranging image date from the tactip into the graph structure. The pins on tactip skin are regarded as vertex. Their localization of the pin and the relative distance will vary with the skin deformation. The Delaunay triangulation is hired to support the graph age construction, which performs beyond the KN algorithm. Then, the Voronoi diagram features are used to enrich the tactile information, since the cells generated by the Voronoi tessellation can provide the depth feature for the tactip sensors. The difference between the two Voronoi graphs can show exactly the localization of the contact center and the depth of the deformation that has occurred, which provides the valuable input for the next server impulse predictions and also improves the tactile data interpretability. A graph convolutional network is introduced for the feature extraction, whose input is a Voronoi graph generated in the last step. The model output consists of the predictions for vertical movement along the y-axis and also the rotation angle along the z-axis. It can be under the traditional CNNs and GNNs with better model training efficiency, higher pulse estimation accuracy, and smoother servering performance. Here are some real demonstrations to show the servering performance of TechVGN. The experiments were conducted using five types of objects for the surface following task. The experiment results show that the TechVGN can serve smoothly both on the cylindrical can and the cylindrical mesh, although their textures are totally different. It also performed good on the square and the beveled prism. Only several deviations were thin at the corners, which caused by the PI controller. Well, the tin box was the most challenging one, due to its flexible surface. The elastic deformation would mislead the pulse estimation of the tactile sensor, sharing and overlapping the pins on the skin, which result in serving instability. Here is a comparison between these three models. We defined an evaluation metric to quantify the tactile serving performance, called smoothness, whose value is smaller, the trajectory will be smoother. From our experimental result, the TACVGN performed very well with less fluctuations on the trajectory and provides more accurate pulse estimates as compared to the other two models. Thanks for watching and listening.